Hey everyone, what's going on? This video is a continuation to a few other videos that I have documented stuff about. So if you're new to the channel or new to what I'm going to talk about in this video, please check the description of this video and it will make a lot more sense. In these videos, I talk about gematria, which is the practice of coding numbers and words. And I show how our mainstream media is always coded by the system. Our history is coded with this system. Our sports leagues are scripted this way. And I also talk about how the media has themes. And if you follow these themes and you understand gematria, you have a better idea of, you know, what is coming up for, the fut for future events and whatnot. So in this original video, I talked about how this movie Stand By Me seemed to be a theme in the media. I talked about Corey Feldman with all the child molestation stuff. When Wendy Williams collapsed, the main guest on her show, show was Jerry O'Connell, the fat kid in Stand By Me. And with the Harvey Weinstein stuff, we got an article about Rose McGowan. And Rose McGowan was is one of the main people or whatever that's against Harvey Weinstein. and. Rose McGowan was in this uh, religion called the Children of God, which River Phoenix is also in, from in River Phoenix from the movie Stand By Me. And that religion's all weird, you know, like, he said that he lost his virginity at age four, fitting with all the child Hollywood pedophilia stuff and whatever else. And in this video, I said, possibly there's something we're supposed to see with Kiefer Sutherland, or the only kid left out is Will Wheaton, and maybe I'll start seeing Will Wheaton. And the very next day, I watched the new Big Bang Theory, and Will Wheaton just so happened to be on that. And it might not sound that interesting, but Will Wheaton hasn't been on the Big Bang Theory since Season 9, Episode 17. And this was Season 11, Episode 6. So he hasn't been on the show for a long time. I make this video, I talk about Will Wheaton, and then I watch this video, or this TV show with Will Wheaton's on there. And in regards to Kiefer Sutherland, three days later, we got the Sutherland Springs church shooting. And there was even a Fox News article about Will Wheaton. People were mad at Will Wheaton for uh, tweeting to Paul Ryan that prayer didn't help the people who died in the church. So they brought up Will Wheaton in the mainstream media at the Sutherland Springs church shooting. You think about Kiefer Sutherland. All connected to this movie Stand By Me. So then I later, I noticed that Lou Diamond Phillips was in the media too, because he got arrested for a DUI, or DWI, in Texas. In Iowa, we call it an OWI, so, sorry. DUI, OWI, drunk driving, same thing. But he got arrested in Texas, of all places, you know, Texas, Sutherland Springs, Texas, and he's in the movie Young Guns with Kiefer Sutherland. That's what I remember him most for, and oh, also La Bamba. But you know, I would I was just recently talking about Kiefer Sutherland and the Sutherland Springs shooting, and then Young Guns, right? So Kiefer Sutherland, this guy, and in my post, I even mentioned, I even wrote in here. Let's see where I put it. Yeah, I said, will we see Charlie Sheen or Emilio Estevez in the media soon? And this was on November 7th. And then on November 8th, we got the story about how Charlie Sheen supposedly molested Corey Haim. And that is interesting because when I originally documented about, uh, I documented about the movie Stand By Me, I mentioned how Corey Haim was supposed to be the Chris Chambers in the movie Stand By Me. That was the character that River Phoenix played. But instead, Corey felt or Corey Haim decided to play Lucas in the movie Lucas. And the story about Charlie Sheen, whatever, sexually assaulting Corey Haim was on the set of the movie Lucas, of all things, you know. The movie that Corey Haim was supposed to be in, or he was in Lucas, but he could have been in the movie Stand By Me. So I just want to find that post really quick where I talked about it just to show you that. Remember, Corey Haim got the part of River Phoenix character on Stand By Me, but he landed the same 
whatever can't even read my own thing but turned it down as the same day he landed the part of lucas right Corey feldman said Haim was molested on the set of lucas and whatever else i wrote all that on november 1st so let's look at this charlie sheen post i want to show some of the gematria in, re in regards to this post and some other thoughts that i i have in regards to it and what we're possibly supposed to see because I talked about the film Young Guns and in regards to the Wild West and whatnot. And we also got the death of Roy Halliday near Holiday, Florida. And his nickname was Doc, like Doc Holiday, the, the cowboy in Tombstone, right? That Val Kilmer plays. And it was all synced up to Val Kilmer as well. But once again, it was reminding me of a cowboy theme, the Wild West. And just yesterday, one of the new people that supposedly has sexual allegations against him is this guy, Roy Moore. And look at him, wearing the cowboy hat. And there's even an article back in September about how he rode a horse to the polls. Once again, showing us this theme of cowboy stuff. So it's, it's something to think about. Last, we'll see if the theme follows, keeps going on for the rest of the year. You would think it's connected to the Cowboys and the, and the Super Bowl. That's what I would have said last year. But what I've noticed over the last two years is the big theme that I noticed in November, it's always connected to the next year's World Series. And the only team I can think of that has a connection to this is the Texas Rangers. So, you know, we'll see how it plays out. Maybe this theme won't keep going on. But two years ago, I was noticing the Native American theme, and I thought it was for the Chiefs going to be in the Super Bowl. Turned out the Indians made the World Series. And then last year, I was talking about the moon and the space theme. I talked about Eugene Cernan, the last guy to walk on the moon. And then Eugene Cernan died in January of 2017, just months after I even mentioned it. We also got the death of John Glenn, and it was just ongoing. And then the Houston Astros ended up going to the World Series. The Super Bowl was held in Houston, and I thought maybe it was the Houston Rockets were going to go to the NBA Finals, but it just turned out to be for the World Series. So, if this theme keeps going, there's got to be something to the next year's World Series in regards to Cowboys. So, just throwing that out there, something I've noticed in the you know the, the years I've been doing this. And I also pointed out Chuck Norris, Walker, Texas Ranger. His birthday was on March 10th. And this is also the same day that Corey Hain died. And notice his name is Carlos Norris. And, uh, can't even think. What's it? Charlie Sheen's real name is Carlos Estevez. So, you know, I don't know. Makes me think of 310 to Yuma as well. The cowboy movie, right? So, 310, 310 to Yuma. Corey Haim's now in the, in the media. Or, you know, up with Charlie Sheen supposedly molested him or whatever. 310 to Yuma once just sorry for repeating myself but just want to get across there I think there is some cowboy type theme that they are running so let's look at this Charlie Sheen stuff really quick in it this was supposedly on the set of the movie Lucas Lucas in Gematria I'll show you here the practice of coding numbers into words if you're new and there's a link in the description if you check that out it'll show you how to do what I'm doing and you can apply it for yourself. But Lucas and Gematria equals 56. And they tell us that Charlie Sheen was the two and a half men star. Two and a half men also equals 56. And the word men, just the word men, I documented this way back before the Paris attacks in 2015 because Charlie Sheen came out and said that he had HIV. And then there was a bunch of stuff about uh, Taylor Swift at the VMAs, and she is singing Bad Blood. And then Charlie Sheen comes out and says he has bad blood. Just before the Paris attacks, Paris, France equals 56. ISIS equals 56. And it was super synced up to Team America, the South Park guys. And, like, Trey Parker equals 56. And Magic Johnson equals 56. And he has he has HIV, right? Then the South Park makes fun of him about the $100,000 injection to get rid of HIV. But anyway, the word men equals 14. If you take 14 
and divide it by 2.5, it equals 5.6, right? Two and a half men. So two and a half, 14 divided by two and a half equals 5.6. And if you write out two and a half men in Gematria, it equals 56. Also, if you just write out Charlie, Charlie equals 56, which is interesting. There's lots of Charles connections that I've documented over the years. I even got a YouTube copyright claim on some video I made about the movie The Truth About Charlie with Mark Wahlberg and how that was synced up to, I can't even remember what it was, some Paris attack, the train attack or something, something else, The Truth About Charlie. We also got Prince Charles who will become the king if Queen Elizabeth dies. And also, royal family in Gematria equals 56. 56 is a super important number all throughout history that I've documented tons of times. Getting off topic, but 56 is a super important number. President equals 56. The Declaration of Independence was signed by 56 signers. John Hancock, the first to sign it. He died at the age of 56, and then Charles Carroll III was the last one to sign it, or he was the last one to die that signed it, and he died exactly 56 years after signing the Declaration of Independence that had 56 signers, and, you know, a, a ton more things, but... Back to this Charlie Sheen stuff, so Lucas equals 56, Charlie 56, two and a half men 56... Min equals 14, and if you divide it by 2.5, it equals 56. Also, when I was talking about uh, Charlie Sheen announcing that he had HIV, right when he did that, we also got a story about a hunger strike at the Missouri University of Missouri, the Missouri Tigers, right? And think about that. Charlie Sheen said he had Tigers blood. And then we're getting this hunger strike at the Missouri Tigers University or whatever. And it was all about Black Lives Matter. Black Lives Matter equals 56 in Gematria. And if you write out Tiger's Blood, it equals 126. May 6th, 5 slash 6 is the 126th day of the year. And even sometimes one month, 26 days is 56 days. Not every month, but, you know, some months it is that. So, just interesting stuff. So, also in regards to... Uh, the movie Young Guns, and it also has Emilio Estevez, who is Charlie Sheen's brother or whatever, and this is just something I'm thinking about. A long time ago, they kept having them duck bus crashes, and there's I've seemingly documented some stuff over the years in regards to the Mighty Ducks and how it syncs up, you know, even Charlie Conway, right, C.C., 33 and he wore number 96 freemason equals 96 and a bunch of other stuff going on with it but his name in that movie is gordon bomb bay and just makes me think about a bomb in the bay and san francisco has been really important since pope francis has been the pope they're both named after saint francis of assisi the guy who the first guy ever to receive the stigmata and in gematria San Francisco equals 122, it's located on the 122 degrees west, Pope Francis equals 122, so that area just has a lot of interesting connections with Pope Francis, then we even had Super Bowl 50 that was in, uh, in San Francisco last year, or whatever, two years ago, and the, also Golden, the Golden State Warriors really blew up around that same time as well, so... Just thinking about all that in regards to the San Francisco Bay Area. That's also where the uh, uh, the Black Panthers are from. And also the Church of Satan was founded in the same year, 1966. It's just such an important area. And, you know, it also has the Golden Gate Bridge. And the Golden Gate is important because that's where the Messiah is supposed to return through and everything else. So... It's just got a lot of symbolism going on there. It's the high gay population, which is really big in the news with transgender and everything else right now. But anyway, his name's Gordon Bombay. And on Stand By Me, Will Wheaton is Gordy Lachance. Gordon Gordy. And I looked up Kiefer Sutherland, and he got his big start on a movie called The Bay Boy. Right? Once again, The Bay, Gordon Bombay. 
it just makes me wonder, you know, something to do with that. Possibly nothing at all, but I don't know, just something to think about. There's something that's really important to the movie Mighty Ducks. The fat kid Goldberg just got arrested in July, and if you watch that movie, he says that he's going to be moving back to Philly, and then he never moves back to Philadelphia the rest of the movie, and there's no other mention of it. And Philadelphia has a bunch of connections to San Francisco, the Philadelphia Athletics, and now they're the Oakland Athletics, the Philadelphia Warriors, and now the Golden State Warriors. You know, there, there's some tie to San Francisco and Philadelphia, especially with sports and whatnot. So, Phil, I don't know. There, on the movie Happy Gilmore, where he learns how to putt, he learns on the earthquake golf putt-putt golf course. And the building that falls over looks like the Comcast Center in Philadelphia. It has the black cube on the top. And in that movie, it's all about his grandma and whatever else. And his grandma is played by the actor Francis Bay as well. I know I talked about that somewhere. So just pointing it out, there's lots of these connections to Philadelphia. Philadelphia comes from the Book of Revelation. So one last thing I want to mention and then in this video, and I'm sorry, for some reason I noticed that the video gets like super loud out of nowhere, and I don't know why it did that or whatever, so, uh, but I paused it, and I was re-listening to what I said to gather my thoughts, and I noticed that all of a sudden it just gets really loud for absolutely no reason, but I looked up the movie Young Guns, and I never realized that the character that Kiefer Sutherland plays in the movie, his name is Doc Skurlock. Right? Doc Skurlock. And just think about that in regards to the death of Roy Halliday, who his nickname was Doc, Doc Holliday. So there's something to do with Doc still. And I don't know. Zenith of the Alpha had a video about he was looking up a Doc Holliday, and there's actually a doctor's holiday that's on March 30th. March 30th. And, you know, who knows? They compared... They were comparing the death of Doc Halliday to, I can't think of his name, but his last name is Little, or L-I-D-L-E. So if you put them together, Little Holiday, just, you know, interesting. A day to, you know, keep in mind, because Doc Halliday, the baseball player, died 144 days before March 30th, and 144 is this number often seen around death and political assassination. So just something to think about. Who knows? Trying to get ahead of the game, you know, that's what that's what all of these videos are for, trying to figure it out, trying to get ahead of the game to figure out how exactly all of this works, what is truly going on, you know. Um, actually, there's one last thing. I, just last night this happened to me. So, my, my friend's in town for a wedding that I'm DJing tomorrow night, and he's in the wedding, and... He was in a town that's 10 miles away at the bar, and he texted me at like midnight and said, come up, whatever else, so I'll buy beer, or the bar, the guy who owned the bar had left, and he just like left it there, like he's like, lock it up, we're friends with him too, so no big deal, we were, I went up there, and whatever, I don't have hardly any money, so I was like, oh, alright, I'll go up to the bar for a while, and whatever, when it closed, when, or whatever, when we closed it, we came back to my house, and he wanted to show me something on Facebook, so he got on my, he logged out of my Facebook and got on his, and he showed me this message that he got, and anyway, I, I, he, we were talking about the LiAngelo Ball getting in trouble in China, and it's like, why is a college team even in China to begin with, and whatever else, and, you know, he doesn't understand all of this stuff, but he, even he was like, that doesn't, yeah, why would a college team be there, and a bunch of other stuff, you know? And, honestly, if he learned this knowledge, he'd be really good at, at decoding sports, because he knows more about sports than any person that I've ever met in my entire life. So, but, I started telling him about all this stand-by-me stuff, and all of the stuff that I'm talking about in this video. And, after he got off of Facebook, I logged back in my Facebook, and literally the first thing that popped up was this. Somebody shared, incredible saxophone beatbox and singing of Stand By Me with no overdubs. Now what, what are the odds that that is the first thing that shows up on my feed when I logged in? I even showed him, and he was like, that is amazing. Like, he was actually amazed. 
it was awesome to actually have somebody else experience what I experience every single day. You know, what are the ads? I'm telling him all about Stand By Me. I log into my Facebook and the first thing that's on there is something about the song Stand By Me. So, you know, just awesome that somebody else actually seen it with their own eyes. You know what I mean? It wasn't just me, you know, talking about it. They actually saw this. So, I noticed, so whatever, I just wanted to, I was thinking about why do I keep seeing Stand By Me? And I noticed that it equals 50 in Gematria. And all summer I was documenting this twin theme, and I kept seeing twins, 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 which I am still seeing. We just got a story about these two girls who think they're twins and they're not. Like the stupidest story of all time, but Stand By Me equals 50, twins also equals 50, Will Wheaton equals 50, my name also equals 50. So possibly that is something, that is the reason why I keep seeing this. It's number 50, you know? Something that's connected to my own life. I keep seeing it in the media in nonchalant ways. And yesterday, today's also my birthday. Well, I guess not. Yesterday was my birthday, November 10th. And it's also the 314th day of the year, like pie and whatever else. So, I don't know. Just interesting. I also put Cappy equals 50. That's Charlie Sheen's character in the movie uh, Lucas. And. Other things I've known for a long time, America equals 50, there's 50 states, Washington equals 50 and reverse reduced. Just think about Washington in regards to America, and Hawaii is the 50th state, and just think about that in regards to Obama. Obama's doing jury duty right now or whatever, and I just documented about the Lion King stuff, seemingly connected to Obama, so I don't know. Maybe something to do with this number 50. Also with all the Corey Feldman stuff and all the child molestation stuff. You think about Michael Jackson. And Michael Jackson died at the age of 50. So, And San Francisco, the small way, also equals 50. So, I don't know. Just putting it out there, maybe somebody else can help me figure out some of these puzzles, you know. That's what I love about these videos because a lot of other people, you know, inspire you know, spark my brain when they write something and it just, sometimes it sparks your brain. You discover a whole bunch of new knowledge and everything else. So it's awesome that other people, you know, leave comments, even if I can't respond sometimes. So I'm done rambling, I guess, but I did figure out a way that I can comment back to people. I just have to log into my, I have a different, whatever, account on here. If I switch my account over to my other one here, it actually lets me comment back, but on this one, it doesn't let me comment back on my own videos, so, uh, whatever, peace out.